Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. So I have $9,000 and I want, I have two choices. I can invest my money to uh, in a business or maybe in the bank for six months and they're going to give me 2% interest. That's an annual interest compounded monthly. Okay, so every month it gets recalculated. Or I can be a little more patient, put my $9,000 in the bank for, or in my investment for nine months but it's a little bit lower interest rate, 1.5%. It's compounded quarterly. Now think about it. That's four times a year, every three months. Okay? So I need to put all this information together and figure out what my best deal is. All right, so let's see if you remember the formula. This is from a previous video. Total amount that you get, that's your principal with the interest added in, okay, equals the principal times one plus r over n to the n t power. All right, let's take a look. We've got to make sure we define our variables here. A is the total amount, including the principal and the interest. P is your starting principal. In this case, that's $9,000. Again, the one comes from 100%. So you're starting with 100% of the principal, and you're adding on the interest rate divided by how many times um, during a year it's going to be compounded okay now that's all raised to the nt power the reason why it's to the nt power is because every time we compound it that's a multi multiplier effect okay so it becomes an exponent n is the number of times compounded in, in a year and t is the amount of time you're investing uh, in terms of years so I've got to be a little careful about that now in the first situation we're going to take our principal, 9,000, and we're going to put in parentheses 1 plus. Now it's 2% compounded monthly is, that means it happens 12 times a year, okay? So 2% divided by 12 is actually 1 over 6%, okay? We're going to do some converting here in just a second. But the exponent is nt n number of times compounded in a year and six months is a half a year all right so we just have to kind of simplify this whole mess all right nine thousand times one point now when you do one over six and divide that out in the calculator and then move your decimal two places to the left you're going to get 0 0.001667. Now that's a lot of digits, and actually the more digits I put in there and keep, the more accurate my answer will be. So I'm not going to do too much rounding yet. Now 12 times 1 is 12, divided by 2 is 6. So the compounding exponent on the outside is 6. Again, the shortcut is, in the time period, in 6 months, how many times is it going to be compounded? Well, it's compounded monthly, so that's going to happen six times. Now, on your calculator, you want to do this number to the sixth power, then multiply by 9,000, okay? If you do it out of order, you're going to actually take 9,000 and multiply it um, by a power of six, and that's going to be way too big. So, you're going to actually end up with, and I hope you've tried this on a piece of paper before me, 9,090 dollars and 393 so let's call it and 39 cents all right so do a quick calculation on the other side okay it's the same amount of money nine thousand dollars times one plus now your um, interest rate is 1.5 and you're dividing it in its quarterly so it's 1.5 divided by four, that's the percent. Okay, we'll have to move the decimal point over in just a minute. Now, um, the NT, N is 
um, nine twelfths of a year. Okay, and that's going to actually happen. Corally happens four times a year. Okay, we just kind of have to do a little calculation off to the side. Do some canceling here. So that turns out to be uh, nine over three, which is three. So that's going to happen three times on the outside. All right, let's simplify this mess here. It's 9,000 times. So when you divide 1.5 by 4 and you move your decimal point over and add it to the 1, I'm, I'm not really writing out all the steps here, but you're going to get 0 0.00375 to the third power. Okay, so it gets a little bit messy here. So do the um, exponent part first, 1.00375 to the third power, then multiply by 9,000, and you'll get your result of $9,101.63. All right, so the best deal, if I can be patient, is nine months at a lower interest rate compounded quarterly. All right, I hope you did okay. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.